Hello, this is Alan Jeremy from Deflix Incorporated and welcome to yet another Blender tutorial. Hello YouTube, this is Alan Jeremy from Deflix Incorporated and today I'll be showing you how to create a menu with custom text in Blender. So, first of all, start by deleting this default cube shift a to add a text object and we're going to create our three main buttons for our game and press shift D duplicate this again move this and okay so the next thing we want to do is make this custom text and not the default text which is quite I say rather flat so to do that you can go to netfonts.com and select any font that you want then download this font and once you have done that you can unzip it as you can see I did here so when you download it, it will be in a zip file and you can unzip it then and use this font in Blender. Okay, so to change the font, click on this file, then go to wherever you saved your font, open font, do the same with this. that we have that we're going to add planes underneath this text objects so press shift shift s and cursor selected then shift a add a plane and we're going to drag this to around the center of this scale it down so that it fits into the text around there then scale it on the x-axis so that it is positioned correctly horizontally okay so the next thing you want to do is change the material of this from the default material to something like let's say a blue color oops blue and this is just for easier visibility Okay, so apply this material to all the text objects. Then with the plane selected, press Shift D and drag it down to the next button and scale it on the x-axis until it fits the text 
Shift-D once again. And do the same. Scale on the x-axis until it eats the text. Okay, so that's it. So the next thing you want to do is select all the planes, go into side view and move them just below the text. Then with the play selected, select it first, then select the plane underneath its second and press Ctrl B instead parent to object. Then do the same with the others. So now when we scale the plane, the text also gets bigger. So now we want to convert this into mesh objects because the Blender game engine does not handle text quite well. And we're going to do this by pressing Alt-C, then conversion. Conversion is done from mesh to meta subtext. Just click on that. Then do the same for all the others. And now we are ready to create our menu. So position this. that they're in line with each other. Then separate them a little bit. Like so. Then now we're going to add the animation to our text and we will change the layout from the default to animation and I'm going to close this down because I'm not going to be using that and changes, change this from Adobe Sheet to Action Editor and go into Top View then change the starting frame leave the starting frame as 1 and change the ending frame to 2 move to frame 1 and add a keyframe scaling then move to frame 2 and scale this a little bit then add another keyframe scaling do the same for all the others So after doing that, you can see that it expands our text and reduces the size. We're going to be using this in the Blender game engine. So stop that and change the layout to game logic. selected since it is the one that we animated we are going to add a mouse sensor 
and this is going the mouse event is going to be mouse over and add an and controller and add a <coughs> action actuator and connect this up change this to flipper and this means that when this is true it will do this and when it is not true which is the mouse is not over this plane then it will do the opposite and play the animation backwards this is exactly what we want so since we do not name our animation it's going to be a little bit hard to find them so let me just rename them quickly for convenience purposes and this is the options expand okay so let's go back to game logic and now with this selected change this animation to the animation of the plane this is options expand and our animation starts at 1 and ends at 2 and now you can see when we press P to go into the game engine you can see that when the mouse is over it it expands and when it's not over it it goes back to the normal size So let's do the same for the others. Add a mouse sensor, change this to mouse over, an end controller and an action, actuator, then connect this up, change this to this, the animation, change the plan to about 10. I don't know if that helps, but I just like doing it. Okay, so with that said and done, now if we have some weird effect and to fix this, we just go to frame one to see them the way they were before they were scaled. Now if you go into frame mode, you can see that still doing that weird effect Why? ok let me pause this recording then I'll get back to you once I have figured out what the problem is Okay, so I was not really able to figure out why that was happening, but anyway, um, we want to see our mouse in the menu window. So select the camera first of all, then press Alt R to clear the rotation, then move it to around there. Then go into camera view and shift F to go into fly mode and move out until you can see all the buttons then position this correctly. Okay, so with this center plane selected, press shift S, cursor selected, then shift A, add another plane and 
go into side view and move this below all the other planes or rather below everything else so scale this so that it fits into the camera and around there then divide it for me around there then change the material of this to black shadeless so that it does not have any shadows and yeah, there you go okay so we do not want to see this planes on when you play the game or rather when you go to the menu so to do this we change this from blender render to blender game and go to the physics panel and click on this button invisible and this just makes it so that it's invisible when you play you only see the text so do the same for all the other planes now when you go into play mode you can actually see everything correctly okay so now we're going to select the camera then add an always sensor and add a python controller and we're going to create a simple script that will allow us to see to see our mouse when you play because right now you can't see the mouse and that's not a good thing so import Rasterizer, then rasterizer that show mouse and make sure your S in the show mouse is small and the M is in uppercase letters, then also make sure there is no space between both of them then open here the closing parentheses and add a 1 here and 1 means that it's visible and 0 means that it's not visible so I'm going to rename this to show mouse script dot py then I am going to Save us, show mouse script. Okay, so this always sensor will be will have an a Python controller and this will run this script show mouse script.py. Now you can see that we can see the mouse when we go to play. So I'm not quite sure what the problem is here, but you could just duplicate this and fix the animations but that's basically how it works okay so now the next thing we want to do is add sound to our menu and we can do this by click still with the camera selected Add another always sensor and let's rename this to maybe background music or something just something to help us remember what it does okay so add an and controller for this and add a sound actuator and I'm going to connect this up then I am going to rearrange this so 
that this is at the top and open your sound here I have my sound somewhere here project music and I personally like this one it's called Kawayaru I think open sound and we can adjust the settings here volume pitch and this is probably one of the most important things in this actuator play mode and play stop actually means that it will play then once the music is finished or rather the song is over then only silence will remain so we do not want that to happen and we want it to loop through the song so loop end and now the song will keep repeating itself even when it's over okay so now when you press P we can hear our music I don't know if you can quite hear that but I can hear the music rather okay so now we need these buttons to do something when we click them and I'm just going to demonstrate one this is going to be the quit game and you want to add a mouse sensor the left button with the left button and I'm going to rename this to mouse Clicked. Mouse over. Okay, add an end controller and <coughs> a game actuator. Connect this up. This is going to be a quit game because it's basically a quit game button so now when we click this it's going to <coughs> end the game using so now when you press p to play you can click on this and to end the game using sorry about this weird effect i think it was just an error in the animation I will try to fix it later on and so that's basically how you do it okay so thank you for watching and for now it's going to be goodbye and see you next time